<laughs> this poet is a trained army captain with numerous medals and certificates. He is a visual artist, poet, schematic drummer, videographer, performing artist, film producer, and teacher of Meditation 101. Oh, I need to see him. <laughs> he currently hosts a weekly television series on RCTV Channel 15 called Roots, Culture, and Nature. He has introduced urban youth to African dance and drumming. He has opened up for numerous reggae, re uh, reggae superstars and many Rochester events for agencies, churches, and organizations. For over 25 years, Jerichiah Hines well, has worked with at-risk youth and families, providing individual and family counseling. He is very active on numerous levels to help foster peace and balance within the communities in Rochester. Ladies and gentlemen, Don't spread 
False perceptions about me in your gatherings. Remember, I and I shed the same manner of blood that flows endlessly. Remember, I and my father and mother come from the original tribe that's ageless tribe. But I and I live in peace without the casting of negativity painted by the unconscious mind. Let I and I be free from the circle of slavery. Let I and I be free from the lack of self-awareness and spiritual blindness. Let my people not cast me out into the burning seas. For I and I come from the same bloodline of divinity. Kings and queens once guided I and my people, us people, we people, right here in America, the land that enslaved our kings and our queens. Mental, spiritual, psychological, and economical slavery has replaced the chains of metal upon eye and iris and ankles. Blindly, I people go about their life, living a life of false reality, circumvented by years of allowing another people to dictate what is best for us. They give us laws and beliefs. Systems that feeds their bulging pockets. But keep I and I people living, living a lie. We are highly brainwashed by a system that plans to keep slavery alive. However, disguised it be, it can be broken. It can be broken. Just fight and believe in yourself. Believe in the freedom of justice. Normalize. Normalize in America. I am a man. I come from kings and queens. I come from kings and queens. My people are mighty. Mighty Africans. Africans. Give me justice. Justice in America, the land of the free. great joy and fulfillment. She has been writing poetry and creative writing since she was about 13 years old. She likes to capture the hearts and minds of people and to meet them right where they are. Whether they need to be uplifted, whether they are broken, a little push to help someone get to the next step, a whisper letting someone know they can make it. She has a gift that allows her to express herself as her words come alive with power, excitement, and inspiration. She is the proud author of her book entitled Expressions Unlimited, which was published in April 2010. Yay! <laughs> Expressions Unlimited is not just an ordinary collection of poems. They are messages packed with inspiration, encouragement, 
motivation, empowerment, and real talk. <clears throat> Ms. Deborah Marion would like to say that she is humbled and honored by what God is doing in her life. Without him, she could do nothing, and I quote that. She gives him all the praise, the honor, and the glory. And right now, she's going to give us some of her motivation. Wow. Show us some love. Good evening. Good evening. I'm actually going to read two. <coughs> Can I take this off? Yes. I'm actually going to read two poems tonight, um, and they're both from my book. <laughs> the first one is titled, Stop the Violence. I know some of y'all are really hurt. But shooting and killing ain't the answer. Mm -hmm. Sending your brother six feet under the dirt. On a hot summer day, y'all should be drinking lemonade. Mm -hmm. Not trying to get your props. That's just deceitful accolades. Mm -hmm. Peer pressure sends your ego on a serious ride. Mm -hmm. Hook up with a guidance counselor or mentor to help lead and guide. Mm -hmm. I know jobs are scarce and hard to find. And minimum wage ain't even enough to ease the mind. Some go out and start selling dope. That ain't cool. Selling poison to your brother. It's like hanging them with a rope. Mm. The only thing is, their feet don't dangle. But it causes their minds to be twisted and mangled. Mm. I know y'all say your family gotta eat. But there's a better way to get your bread and your meat. Amen. I'm not here to judge. That's not my intention. Get to know Jesus Christ, cause he works in guidance and intervention. Let's stop the violence. Cause killing someone's sister or brother, and check this out, the next time it could be your mother. Mm. A bullet doesn't see race, color, or gender. It doesn't discriminate. When it pierces the body, severe pain is what it inflates. Some pull the trigger cause they think it's fun while some helpless victim lay there because you felt they deserved to be shot with your gun. Does that make you a man? Move pride out of the way and tell it to step aside. There's more to life than violence like it's some thrilling ride. This ain't no joke, it's really sad. Walking around here packing like it's the latest fad. It's time to stop the violence and get to the root of your hurt, suffering, and pain. Cause killing everybody lose and you have nothing to gain. You want out of this dreadful lifestyle, man? Let's call on Jesus and get on his intervention plan. He will lead, he will guide, and he will direct your path. Give your life to him and let him do the math. Stop trying to figure it out. Faith and trust in God is what it's all about. Set your mind and affection on God above. Get to know him, and you'll see how much you are loved. Oh, it can be hell right here on earth, but Jesus can give you a peace of mind and a new birth. He is the way, the truth, and the light. Surrender your anger, frustrations, worries to the Lord, and let him fight your battle and win your fight. Every time you pull that trigger, the devil is sitting back laughing at you all. And you think y'all be chilling and having a ball. Mm -hmm. We all must spend eternity somewhere. <clears throat> so think about that the next time you pull the trigger without a care. Will you choose Jesus and live? Or will you choose death and die? Make the right choice because it's worth an eternal try. Stop the violence. <laughs> That should be a workshop. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That should be a workshop. Sure enough. Yeah. That should be a workshop. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can I take this down? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's gonna. It'll be a little easier when I do this one. Okay. Thank you. 
This one is titled, The Devil's Playground. Welcome to my world, the devil say. You entered my gate, you must want to play. Oh, how rude of me. Let me first introduce you to my two best friends. Their names are destruction and the other sin. Now, let the festivities begin. I got drugs, alcohol, sexual transmitted diseases, lies, deceit, and more. What's your pick? I only want to supply your needs. I'm sincere. This ain't no trick. When you come on my playground, there's no holds bar. Anything goes, no rules, no laws. This has got to be the most enticing by far. You can play all day and all night because I don't get tired and I don't sleep. I'm up 24-7 helping you swim from the shallow end of sin to the destruction that's very deep. You want to get once you dice? Hmm, I got that too. Then when one of you lose, I'll sit back and watch as you try to kill one another. Oh, but I ain't through. I know how you like to drive big fancy cars and showboat and keep up with the Jones. So I made it so you can have all of that and neglect necessities like gas and electric food and your phone. I've been checking you out for a mighty long time. I watched how you come up in the club looking good and real fine. I had one of my friends offer to buy you a drink so I could mesmerize you with lies, sweep you off your feet and have you discombobulated so you couldn't think. Then I took you home with me and did what I will. After all, you came looking for me. I'm still creeping, now you're ill. You have a friend that smokes weed and you don't. I had him tell you, come on, try it one time, it won't hurt. Now you're hooked. So please don't tell me what you can't do and what you won't. I'm in control of this playground, I own it all. I knew you were coming, so I dug a ditch Painted over it beautifully, cause I knew when you entered, you would fall. Keep playing with me, I'ma give you what you're looking for. I'm gonna make your life so miserable, you ain't gonna wanna play no more. But oh, it's too late, I got you now. You should have never came through my gate. Remember when I told you there were no laws, no rules, anything goes? I lied. My rules are the secret, hidden agenda that nobody knows. Did I forget to tell you that when you come to my playground, there is a price to be paid. I'm going to give you everything you want, but you will become my slave. I took your smile, turned it into a frown. Now your world is turned upside down. I took your innocence and gave it to STD. Now you can't have kids, I'm keeping it with me. Because of your wanna be glossy eagle, I drained your bank account, now you're broke. You messed up your credit and loans you can't get no more. I had you try weed just that one time. I got you hooked, now you're broke and ain't got a dime. So I hope you enjoyed your day at the playground. I know you got more than what you were looking for and what you found. So you better tell your family and your friends to be aware they can enter my playground at their own risk, but remind them that my two best friends will be there. Thank you. Now that could be a movie. <laughs> <laughs> so good. That's that's good. That's that's good. Be happy in a movie. Oh, you want to turn into a play? All right, that's it. Yeah. All right, all right. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, that was that was very powerful. I don't think I'm gonna go there in my playground. <laughs> and I'm not taking the kids to the work. We're gonna stay in the school today. <laughs> okay, we 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 gonna open it up, open mic, and um, we getting ready to bring this beautiful sister up and. Look, look at her. Is that your daughter? Where's that smile? Come on now. Mommy, get ready to get up here. I'm going to bring Miss Cypress Jackson Preston up and flow for us. Is anyone else out here want to do open mic? If I can find my, I'm going to go outside and see if I can find my email. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Anybody else? Under some open mic. You are. You want to do some open mic, brother? It's important. I think you better get out there. She's going to hurt you. Okay. And uh, I see the sister in the hat. She wants to do some open mic. Okay. All right. Okay. And then after we have the uh, the poetess and poets that are going to be doing open mic, then we're going to take a break because I know you need to stretch your legs and move around and, and let the blood flow. You ready, my sister? Okay. No, uh-huh, you're going to do it. It's open mic. You <laughs> know. <laughs> So, um, I'm Cypress, <coughs> the first tree you ever met yes. that sprouted wings and became rich. Okay. <coughs> you want to use that or you want to? Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, it's called Family First. Mm -hmm. The first time I figured out the final fragment of my fantastically painted family portrait, it fractured into five million trillion finely splintered pieces. I was a statistic. Tapestries began falling like fabulously woven fabrics of brick lies tumbling from my father's lips like philandering digits from behind broken zippers. My parents' marriage, ten years established, now wreaking havoc on my madness. My mommy, my daddy, my reality fading fastly, my fingers fumbling at crumbling catches, attempting to furiously, curiously find enough twine to wind my life back together. Mm -hmm. The first time, my feeble vision of family and what family did, what family does, shattered like lightning landing brightly, precisely on a light bulb. I'm broken now. Somewhere inside of me is still a 13-year-old trying to be enough to protect the benign ideal lying in me, created by my parents' imaginary perfect marriage, though they didn't have bad intentions because they were just trying to be something for me to aspire to be. But the first time I figured out my Cosby life was a hoax, my parents <coughs> laughed at silent jokes, my parents behaved better than most they gave, they supported, but behind it silent cries choked back years of treachery. Infidelity, nagging and belittling about her hidden flaws, bickering like two siblings, fine. I came to freedom in my pain. I came to feel truth in the rain. I won this game, blame. Silent, I figured out an inner focus. I cut school and wrote poems about flying floatless. I cried tears of sorrow, dreamt of better tomorrows and dealt with the reality. The first time I figured out my parents were a little bit sadistic, maybe even masochistic. I realized that they never, ever, ever meant for me to be a statistic. All right.
looking at your chin, wondering just when your smile got so wide, when your hands got so warm, and exactly when they reached my thigh. Cause now I'm looking at the screen, wondering if I blink once, I'll change the scene when I never saw, but now questioning is if it'll happen once more. Definition of surrealism. Changing scenes at speeds as quickly as Russian waters once mountain clean. Vanishing acts like the pure relationship we used to have. Now smiling as we don't express the visions that flash across the insides of our eyes. Though unspoken, very well understood. Cause we look and continue never asking if we should. Then I'm kissing your neck and you're kissing mine. And in that instant we slowly time. Excuse me, mister, how do we define this, this kiss, this incidence, this calm, unlikely coincidence in which your eyes met mine, expressing your attraction, and so unlike our usual interactions, here we are, all alone, our distractions, I'm sure you anticipated my retraction, but my interest in them, your smile, brighter, your eyes, wide and your color became this chin rest, quite like my violin, just comfortable, though unusual, those minutes, though unmentionable, seem so worthy of repetition and sweet submission to the ignorance. Blissful, yearnful, wistful, my heart was lustful, my ears were evasive, my lips single parts as we missed and enjoyed the instances more for the childlike fumbling, quiet mature mumbling about how interesting the desire to repeat did seem on our own time, not willing to spend time with one another creative soul, cause your voice stirs up character and gets my question the power in your flesh, strength in your heart, questions in your soul, peace in your mind. Are you ready and willing as you seem to boast to allow me to enter your space more than most anticipated, even expected? If only it was the butterfly kisses you wished for, but instead I find myself wishing the surreal were this real just a little more often. <laughs> No, from where? Again, dead stare. No black. Not content with just settling, now they offer suggestions. West Indian or West African? I emphatically dissent. African American. Why must this be so scary? Then one day I saw clearly I'm too American because black Americans don't do this and black Americans don't do that. But if black Americans ain't do shit, I wouldn't even be here riding coattails of civil rights back. Mm -hmm. But I'm so American that I can read between the red, white, and blurred lines when I'm in the drive through driving behind a pickup with a bumper sticker that reads, why do I have to press one to speak English? Mm -hmm. I'm so American that I laugh and more like chuckle because I laugh. So I think to myself, that's some red like shit, but you resist. The KKK still exists. Domestic terrorism is a miss. Mm. But as I sit, I squint, and the next sticker, and he the X, red stars reads red neck. I already knew that shit wasn't dead yet. Mm -hmm. yeah. If immigrants only knew what Americans like me had really been through, then they would give respect where respect is due, because I'm too American to get how I could walk up in DSS and rationalize that there are uneducated, chemically imbalanced mental patients that look just like me. 
but can't get assistance because they're not refugees. Mm -hmm. See, Harlem ain't nothing but a third world country, but I'm too American for America to come rescue me. Try to get a job and don't have a college degree, but you see immigrants walking around washing dishes with three, and they shit still ain't that bad because they got their own flag, and on the same land that their parents had, their family structure is mad established. In fact, mm -hmm. they send everything they make right back, and when they retire, they got that guap stack. Mm -hmm. But the truth is that economists and sociologists have already resolved this because it's been proven that having an entire population lacking ownership and property rights seriously affects the lack of motivation and is a cause of economic stagnation. So it sounds like chattel slavery was a form of societal demasculation, blackmail castration, continual for daily supported by antiquated laws protecting policies in Washington, D.C., still pressuring me to see the value of integration. But at the rate the powers that be stay hating on a healthy black nation, I see more benefits in maintaining segregation. Mm -hmm. Give us our own land and let's see if we still don't value education because that's what they say about my entire generation. Mm -hmm. Never accounted for the misaligned ulterior motives of school board legislation. Policies never interested in the inner city's elevation. Budgets never balanced, just toppling sideways, spiraling like police sirens, picking up truants, and it's true indeed, truancy perpetuates illiteracy. But at the rate the literate are propagating deceit, I see more truth in what you see than what you read. So don't attempt to devalue the true worth of a degree from the street. All right. Cause I'm too American to not get that Charles Heston and his cohorts definitely endorse keeping my rights with bare arms. But I'd rather fight with bare arms. Cause like Nat Turner, I'll take flight by the night's calm and living any colored white devil looking like Jimmy. I'm with my writing in a poem. <laughs> I'm too American not get what the struggle for the long haul is. It's gonna be like 10 years just to get out of college. No, believe me, I know what a trial is. I finished with my kid, it was like doing a bed. Meanwhile, you think my straight, perm, braided weave means I lack self-righteousness or any dignity. Yeah, I don't travel across seas for another culture's any weaknesses to pray on. Cause there's no good American quiet dignity in that. Mm. And I'm too American to not resent any encroachment on my right to free speech. Hmm. Never settling for the ignorance. Never comforted by the presence of the walking dead. Cause this shit is too deep. Ever moving, but like still waters, refreshing is too sweet. Cause I too, America, need rehab to rid myself of your pipe dream. I too, America, need a colonic to clear the toxic bullshit your fast food nation keeps feeding right. me. And there's no refreshment, nourishment, or protection in peddling prescriptions in a healthcare system addicted to taking victims, mm. blaming their chemical dependence on anything other than internal memos from pharmaceutical vendors suggesting they let prisoners in jail try that new pill for results needed for a demo. Mm. The Department of Corrections does correct shit. You have any idea how many African Americans the cops have hit? Can you conceive of how many kids are out here fatherless? Do you know how corrupt Docs is? Cause I'm American, but first I'm a black woman. And looking at a black man, I see his eyes, I hear his cries. And you will never know the pain inside a black man as American as apple pie. So tell me, what kind of system supports zoos? And keeping a grown man inside a box for life? Mm. My job is to heal that man you will never know my strife. Mm. Mail in green shirts, still convincing him of his self-worth. Meanwhile, CEOs keep him in a cold on the floor in a box for a week. Mm. Tell me if you felt that man's hunger when that slot slid open and the food was thrown at his feet. Mm. Tell me if you felt that man in bit defeat when I looked in his eyes and said, but baby, did you eat? Mm. Cause crying inside, he wept the truth is the nightmares are so ruthless he can't sleep. So I am too American to care if you don't get me. Cause I am too brash. I am never calm. I never relax. I am always on. I'm not demure enough for Islam. Cause no one has a match that gets me with my head wrapped on with loud rap on. I understand stories of oppression from the Quran. And I respect authentic hadith. Yo, when I say assalamu alaikum. Middle Easterners don't respond while they come salam. So I don't get how you came all the way here for my peoples and the weaknesses to pray on. I already knew they had bad diets and high cholesterol. Mm. So how come I just throw you sell pork and no vegetables? Mm. What kind of person would I be to go to Afghanistan and sell heroin? I'd be a leech, a snake, a parasite from here on in. So they look and say shame on me, <laughs> but I say shame on them. Cause I claim my hood everywhere I've been. I challenged every stereotype someone ever had a Harlem. Impeccable English, learning Arabic and Chinese. Can you see me? Mm. Invisible man, but like the wind, you feel me. I clean up real neat. But in my heart, I'm sweats, tens, and a fifty-nine fifty. Never scared of the tools. I fear no man. I'm tough. Fuck with me. 
I came from Zavilla, she came from Edith, she came from Georgia, she came from Luba, and that's as far back as I could go. You can't measure that kind of pain with a ruler. I am Miss Jackson, I am Miss Preston. I'm more American than a Clint Eastwood Weston. I'm as American as the NYPD in a bulletproof vest. I'm as revolutionary as the hood tucking text. Yeah, America taught me genocidal tendencies, so I suggest America keep an eye on me. They do it with FB and Twitter like I can't see. But don't you dare try to hear me flesh network me, cause I'm as American American is supporting Israeli propaganda for material in seventh grade tests. So as long as we support, as long as we settle for supporting Palestinian unrest, I'm gonna settle with my hood the way they settled the West. So next time someone gets tempted to give you a loitering in violation, redefine it for yourself and tell them you won't settle for any civil injustice because it's your settlement they're disrupting. I say this with love, I speak this with hate. I'm as confused as this country that's so great. So fuck the flag and fuck the Pledge of Allegiance because I'm American enough to respect you calling that treason. I mm. do this for me, I do this for you. I do this for my people standing tall, standing true. Black America, where are you? Mm. Black America, what are you? Cause colored in America, you a nigga too. Black, simple as that, I am you. Forever dedicated to exposing American self-glorification, political masturbation like black light. American Judas backstabbing with a black knife. Mm -hmm. America's the kind of whore that thinks I do this for profit. Do this for stardom. I do this for truth. I do this for harder. <laughs>